all of us have seen what a number line is. It has a zero in the center, positive values at equal intervals on the right, which go on forever, and negative values at equal intervals on the left. A number on the right of a number will always be greater and that on the left will always be smaller. We can easily give any number on this line an identity. If the point lies here, we can say that it is one unit to the right of zero. This point, for example, is two units to the left of zero. But what if we have a point here? How do we give point A an identity? To give such points an identity, we draw another line perpendicular to this one. We have positive values above zero and negative values under it, all at equal intervals. These two lines are called the axes. The horizontal line is called the x-axis and the vertical one is called the y-axis. Now can we give this point an identity with the help of the axis? Of course we can. It is two units away from the y-axis and three units away from the x-axis. Two units away from the y and three away from the x. Its identity would be 2,3. In a fancy way, they are called the coordinates of point A. 2 is the x-coordinate while 3 is the y-coordinate. Can we write the y-coordinate first and then the x? Nope, we cannot. The x-coordinate has to be written first. Why don't you try writing the coordinates of point B? It is one unit away from the y-axis and three units away from the x-axis. But wait, three units below the x-axis. So the coordinates will be 1, minus 3. So that's how we give points on the plane some identity. x-coordinate followed by the y-coordinate. These two axes divide the plane into four regions. This one, this one, this one and this one. They are called quadrants. This region where the x as well as the y values are positive is called the first quadrant. The region to the left of it is called the second quadrant, y positive and x negative. This is the third and this is the fourth quadrant. It goes counterclockwise. One, two, three and four. This plane that you see is called the coordinate plane and we will be looking at more of it in the coming sessions.